welcome to On the Fluffy Couch. I'm your host, Sophie Kitty, and today we're playing Faster Than Light. Alright, so I haven't recorded a video in a pretty long time, because I had other stuff going on that I really, really, really had to deal with. But I decided to attempt to make this video today because I would like to start making them again, and every time I haven't had the chance to be able to record a Minecraft video just yet. But one will probably be in the future. So this is the game I have, and this is what we're going to play. Yay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little tired, but I'll be fine. Uh, so this is the first ship that you get. Everything's new. All my data got wiped, so this is, like, literally the first thing you do when you log into the game. Go to easy mode because this game is hard. <laughs> and ta-da! Activate both of our guns. And then we jump. Let's see if I can remember how this works. Oh, there's something distressed there. Let's go there. I should probably read most of these. Okay. You fire a few volleys from a distance, and it is clear the defense systems are no match for your weapons. However, the station does not seem happy with your solution. You're sal you salvage what you can and jump before there is trouble. And then, so we got this, which is a little drone part. This is the end. Uh, fuel, I believe. And then these are some scrap parts which we can use to buy stuff. So, the overall, like, goal in the very beginning is just to kind of jump to as many little planets as you can jump to before you have to. Uh, okay, so this is a slave ship. And they ask if you want to buy a slave. Or you can attack them to be all like, slaves, slaving is bad, or you can just ignore them and leave. Uh, we're gonna attack them, because you know that might not be the best idea. Um, first what you want to do is you want to aim for their shields, uh, which is going to be this guy right here. So we're gonna shoot at that, and we're gonna miss. And then we... So we hit them twice, and they were like, oh no, screw that. They want to surrender, and we accept their offer of said guy. And his name is Bajorn. Bajorn. And he is a rock guy. And now we can go to ship, and we can go to crew, and we can see, oh, okay, here's Bajorn. And we could rename him, but there's no reason to. And he has no skills, and, but as a rock man, he is immune to fire. Movement speed is halved and his max health, max health has increased. So, um, for right now, we'll go ahead and put him on the shields, because the shields are the thing we don't have someone working on yet. And this is just, like they run these sections, so it's it's good. And then she's almost, she's like got hit, so we'll go ahead and heal her up in the medbay. Have her go back. Uh, now we can jump again. There's a store over here, we'll go over here. Probably won't buy anything this early on in the game, but who knows. So here's the store. And, uh, it's always good to buy fuel, which we might actually buy, but I don't know yet. We're gonna fix everything and buy a couple of fuels. There's a drone recovery arm. Stealth weapons. Reverse ion field. And then some weapons. 
we really we start off with some pretty good weapons so there's no reason to do anything with that we have nothing to sell right now uh, here is two drones that we also don't want drone control cloaking so uh we'll just buy another thing of those and continue on our way yeah Okay, so here's this red thing. This is the part that once it hits you, you start like having to fight people, and we don't want to do that. <laughs> not not all the time, not forcefully. Defend the outpost. We defend stuff anyway. We're already hostile people. <laughs> so we're gonna set this up to attack its shields. And then we're gonna attack its weapons. Okay, screw those. And because we only have a limited amount of missiles, we're not gonna use that right away. Just shoot at its shields one more time. It had nobody repairing it, so that was pretty easy. Because it was just one of those, uh, like, unarmed thingies. Oh, hey, another store. Cool. We still don't have anything to sell. Not really any reason to buy any of this stuff. We can't sell the drone parts. Oh, I thought we could. That's too bad. Uh, we'll buy one of those. There, sometimes you can run out of stores, so I mean, why would you not buy some, right? Yeah. Uh, we're gonna start moving this direction. See if we can cover more ground before having to go anywhere. Oh, stealth third place. That's not cool. Okay, he doesn't have a shield, though. He only has a stealthy thing. And that's not cool. We'll just shoot his weapons. And then we'll shoot his cloaking device. And he's dead. Okay, so, but now we have to repair all this stuff, so... Butter is in here. Wow, really, his name is Butters. I did not read these. We're gonna bring him up here to repair some stuff, because we want him and Aisha. We want those two to be able to repair stuff pretty fast, because they're on the weapons and the engine. The engine helps you dodge, and the weapons will help you shoot. So they need to be able to repair stuff really quick. Here, this button over here saves where your crew is, and then if you, like, move them both to the medic bay or something, you can just click this button to make him go back, and there's a hot hotkey for it for return, to kind of help so you can, like, quickly move your sh your people around. Uh, let's go over here. What? We're not gonna slave people? So this person wants to take one of our crew members as a slave, which isn't happening either. Nope. We like all of our crew members, and we're going to keep them all. So we're gonna let the first one fire first, and then we're gonna shoot their missiles. Okay, so they're powering up, they're faster than light, so that means they're gonna, like, warp or whatever. And before that finished, they've decided that they're going to offer us this guy, and we're going to say yes, because we like taking in you guys. So we're going to be like, ship, crew, who's the new guy? He also doesn't have anything, and he's a rock guy too. Bruce, Bruce something or other. Grr, Greg. Oh, we'll just go with Bruce. I like that. Uh, he's immune to fire. He's just like the other guy. They're pretty much the same because of their race. They get the same benefits, just like, um, skills improve faster on humans. So, we might as well, uh, we can either put him on repair the door du duty or, uh, 
this. I don't have him selected, I'm silly. This is, this makes it so you can see what's going on in the sh here. There we go. Sensors enables view of all rooms of and info of enemy ship. Okay, yeah, so this will make it so we can see the enemy ship, like how many people they have on them and whatnot. So that's good information to know. All right, so this is a nebula, this area over here. And this makes it so these move forward slower. So we're gonna jump over there and make them move forward slower so we can get another jump in, hopefully. We'll see though, there's a possibility we're wrong. All right, we're gonna attack this. It also makes it so we can't see the rooms we're not in. So that's too bad. We can save that. I thinks. I thinks. Yeah, so their weapons are down. Our uh, front thing is down, but he'll get that repaired real fast. Like, we're gonna turn that down. And now we win! Yay! We find a heavy laser Mark One. Ooh, lasers are cool. So we'll see if we can get that. Uh, if we can get that working. Okay, now we're gonna get over here. I don't think uh, scanners are showing intelligent forms of life on near my planet. No match for them can be found in the database. We can either investigate it or ignore it. Let's investigate. We land small shuttle and an enormous field whom only occupant was our small, brightly colored, six legged horse like animals. Could they be what your skin picked up? Try to communicate peacefully. Bring some of the creatures on board to sell. Try to communicate. Try to communicate in every possible way you can, but they just stand there slightly judging you with their large, expressionless eyes. You prepare to leave. Well, that was not as exciting as I wanted it to be. You were sad face. <laughs> oh, this is a meteor thingy. So that's gonna be. So we're gonna have to fight this guy. See, see now that the guy is standing on, uh, is manned, we can see like there's only one guy on the ship. So he's only gonna be able to repair. Oh, I mean, there's two guys. But they're still only gonna be able to repair like some things. And not to mention we're getting hit by these fucking meteors all the time. Okay, now that one of them just hit our H2O, which we're gonna have to go get, cause that's bad. Oh, they're dead. They got hit by a little meteor guy. Uh, we're not gonna wanna stay here, so... Dangers, dangers. Okay, our H2O's back up. Our H2O's back down. <laughs> Okay, we can jump. So we're gonna jump and hope there's something less dangerous wherever we're going. We were wrong. Wait, I can avoid the conflict. Okay, we're gonna avoid the conflict because that's, because our H2O is already dying and we're already, terrible things are already happening. Let's call her up here to help him do this. Okay. Uh, so now we can just pretty much be like, everybody, go here. Except for you, you can stay there. But apparently you knew that, this guy. Now we can just send everybody back to where they belong. Once they're all fully healed. I didn't save this once I told this guy where to go, so I'll go ahead and save that now. Um, now we'll jump to the exit. Okay. Okay, we can change sectors. Upgrade our 
door systems. I think that's good. Why not? Continue. So now our doors are stronger. And I think I got it for cheaper than if I did it myself. I don't know, though. <laughs> I don't know the math here. I think I got it cheaper. Yeah, no, I totally got it cheaper. Nice. It just counts. Okay, so here's the... I like to do this before I jump to the next section. Here is uh, how you upgrade things. And here's the, the like, green dots you need. <laughs> I'm helpful. Here's the green, like you need these. These are the power bars, there it says right there. So the more of these you have, the more things you can run. So we're gonna buy two of those. And then we're gonna wanna upgrade our shields as fast as like probably. Uh, the engine is also good to upgrade because it increases your dodge chance, which kind of makes it so the shields are a little less necessary. Everything else not really that important right away. The weapons would be important if we had more to run. We do have the laser, but that's one of those up in the air, we could either do it or not do it concepts. Uh, you need to be able to buy both things of shields. Like, see how it says 20, nothing, and then 30, two shield barriers. So if you buy the 21, you can't activate it and it doesn't actually provide you anything, so you actually have to buy both of them in order to get the second shield. We can buy both of them, based on uh, what it says there, but uh, we're not going to do that right now. So we have enough energy that we can add another thing to the engine. So now we should dodge level 2, so we should dodge more than we did before. Um, each shoots one per charge. I think these lasers are really awesome if I remember correctly, so I wanna I think I wanna activate it. But I mean this could go poorly. <laughs> we'll find out. So now we can just say accept and then ta-da, now we have a laser back here. We'll see how well it works. If it doesn't work, we'll just sell it and cause and be sad about the fact that we did that. We're gonna save this to repair our ship and we're going to go ahead and go to the next sector. We can either go to a nebula or uh, another civilian sector. The civilian sectors normally have less hostile mobs. However, the nebulas make it so the enemy moves slower. So it might be worth going to one of those first. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. This sector is very little of it has been sharded. Yeah. Alright, so we can't see like any of our stuff and we're not gonna be able to, so that's uh sad and awkward, but you know. So we just there's nothing there. I'm looking for a store, but there's a possibility you'll never find one. Uh, you spot a rebel ship in the nebula ahead. Stay off their radar or try to engage. Okay, so now we can see what they have compared to us, whether or not we want to engage. So, they have a shield. They have weapons. They have one shield, which we also have one shield. They have a good amount of health. So we could probably, we could probably kill them, but yet at the same time we run the risk of dying. So we're gonna go ahead and do it, cause why the hell not? All right. So first, of course, we're going to shoot down their shield, and then we're gonna, as soon as that goes off, we're gonna shoot down their weapons, and of course we're gonna miss their shield. I shot the laser, that didn't do as much as I wanted it to do, because that's not, that's a different type of laser. Try this again. Shoot the laser again. Okay, that only does one. We need the burst lasers, because they're coolest. 
So their shield is now down, so now we can actually use the real laser, which it misses. Okay, they prepare to do their jump thingy. And we got them. Yay! If they jump, you don't really get anything, which is sad. <laughs> we didn't take too much damage, and we got more than that. And there's a store right there, so we're in the clear. Okay, so the heavy laser sucks, so we're going to sell that. We can go to sell. Heavy laser. Uh, I'll remember how to sell things. There we go. Okay, so now we got a bunch of stuff. We're going to go ahead and repair all. Yay, now we're all repaired. They have some people for sale, but there's no reason to really buy crew members, uh, I don't think. Especially since none of them have any skills. Like, if one of them had, like, a skill full, then it might be like, oh, well, maybe. But, you know, they don't, so we won't. We're gonna go ahead and buy some of this stuff. These because we need to actually use them to fight, and these because we need to use them to move. That's pretty much good. Charge booster, weapons, automatic, re automa eh. automated reloader, cooldown between weapon shots is improved. So that could be cool. Because you get three of these kind of things in your ship. And you'd love to get the scrap one, but uh, obviously this guy isn't selling the scrap one. This would be cool, because you'd be able to shoot things faster. So, I mean, I'm really weighing the possibilities on getting this one. Oh, I'm gonna get it. So that might be, that might be bad, that might be good. We'll figure it out. Um. So we're gonna go over here and test out and check out these little plants over here planets sections attack the pirates oh they have drones so that's gonna suck uh, what kind of drones do they have I don't know I don't know but we're gonna kill them okay so they don't have drones anymore next is their weapons Our ship isn't a match for yours. I don't know. Mm. Um, okay. Sorry, I had a moment. A car just like totally hit another car outside my house. Okay. Uh, but let's, let's, mm, do we want to accept their offer? Let's ignore their pleas and continue attacking. Why not? Let's be that guy. They obviously couldn't deal with the whole concept, so I mean, they're pirates. So, because we decided to ignore them, we got more scrap, but we didn't get the engine booster or the, uh, the little, or the rocket missile thingies. So that's, there you go. It's not that big a deal, it just depends on what you want, I guess. You feel naked without functioning sensors. You have expect a rebel ship to appear from behind at any moment, but none come. Okay, so we're good. Jump over here. Oop, something. A rock armored transporter nearby looks to have lost its bearings, but when you hail the grow suspicious, whatever life form you are, we we find you repugnant. You seek no aid, leave now. Uh, so because we have a rock crew member and this is a rock ship, we can offer to help them, which I think we will do. They will give us stuff because we are awesome. 
we will realize that we have no H2O and we will decide it's time to leave this section relatively quickly. Okay, so now we need to, hmm. As soon as we get out of this, we need to pause again and reactivate all of our stuff. Your crew, your ship emerges quick, quite far away from the beacon. You see a rebel ship waiting nearby, undoubtedly stationed to look for you. Okay. So we can take this guy. He's got, he's got some drones, but we don't see any, so. Let's pause. So all this stuff is down. Okay. So we can kind of come up with a plan. Uh. Bleh. Might as well just be the same thing. Attack the shields. Why not? Shoot the shields. I don't see uh, a drone anywhere, so his drone station isn't that important. So we won't worry about that. Uh, we will aim. We're gonna need to do that. The shield again, because apparently he... They recharge really fast. Oh, well that sucked. <laughs> Okay, well, we got him. I hate it when your missile misses because it's like, oh, that caused something. No. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and get out of this sector, and that's gonna pretty much be the end of the video. Jump over here. Nothing. to fight oh goodness now this guy actually has drones and some of our stuff's gone so that's bad so we're gonna go ahead and take out the drones because we don't want to deal with those bastards we don't have anything other than our missiles so we're gonna have to actually waste them here get rid of their weapons and next we'll get rid of their shields are they actually repairing Oh, don't miss. We don't have time for that. Okay, they're not repairing, so we should be fine. I just need to hit them one more time, and that's pretty much... They should be dead. Okay, so see, whenever these things go blue, that means that those are green slots that you're not allowed to use because you're restricted in this area, so we don't have the ability to, like, to use our sensors. We didn't have our oxygen, which I had to turn on when we first got here. We couldn't heal right now. There's just so much, so much stuff we don't want to be a part of. Okay, so now we can turn all of our stuff back on. Someone, someone is low health. We should go do that. Get him all healed up before we jump again. Okay, and then this should be the exit. Uh, we are not going to do that because we don't need drones. And it looks like our doors are broken. <laughs> Let's go fix that. All right, so now we should upgrade one last time. Oh, I just saved her location, my bad. Ow. Oh my God. I'm silly. Oh no. Just make her walk back and forth. I'm sorry. Okay, so to the ship. So now we have enough to upgrade our shields, which we will do now. Ta-da, shields are upgraded. 
Uh, what else do we want to upgrade? Our doors have been upgraded automatically. This increases our, per our evasion, so we might want to be considering this. Uh, we don't really need more weapons. We can increase our dodge chance again, maybe. Um, I think we have enough to increase our dodge ch Okay, yeah, we have enough to increase uh, either our piloting or our dodge chance. Hmm, I'm not really sure which one is better. Uh, it increases our faster than light refill too. Let's do that. For now, anyway, for now. So now you can see we have two little shield guys. So this guy is... So now when someone hits us, they have to hit us twice before they can actually hit our ship. And that's what we want. So, um... Uh, I think that's a good that's a good stopping point. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, you know, comment, subscribe, all that fun jazz, and uh, I will see you next time on the fluffy couch.